So, um, to talk about the actual books themselves and, and the reaction to them, one, one of the things I've been very pleased with is that how many people I've upset. <laughs> um, which which <laughs> it sounds very wrong, doesn't it? Um, about um, shape shape has been shape has been going for a long time. I I started thinking about it in two thousand and ten um, as an idea that popped into my head on a, when I was walking the dog one day, and I thought, well, that's a, that's a good idea. And then I refined it about over the course of a year. I, I take my time on these things, um, and I wrote all the background document. I did all the world all the all the authory stuff. Okay, all the world building. It's all grand grand hero's terms. It's just scribbling notes in a book basically. Um, and um, you know, did a bit of this and did that, and then you know, and you go for the research phase, which is probably the best bit of writing a book, is when you just you get to you know pretend you're working by looking at <laughs> websites all day and going, well, that's interesting. There's some pretty pictures. I'll look at those. Um, and um, uh, we call it research, but actually it's just sort of dossing around on the internet. <laughs> so when an author says, "I'm doing research," then yeah, not really. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being really unfair because they because here we this is this a serious part, but um, so yeah, you spend a lot of time going. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Can I put that in a novel? And da, 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 da. Um, and so I tried to, um, you know, I, I wanted to do something different. Okay, it was always the case. You know, I don't want to do a derivative sci-fi stroke fantasy story because it's really easy to fall into those tropes. And the problem is, if you stick, if you go into tropes, um, you know. Yeah, it's very hard to break out of them. So, you know, in the science fiction world, um, very hard to get around things like hyperspace and warp drives. You know, if you want to have a galaxy spanning epic, then you know, you've, you've, you've got to get away from those things. And then it's really hard not to copy something that's gone before. It's the same in the fantasy realm with things like, um, um, you know, orcs and elves and trolls and things. It's like, well, you, everyone knows what they look like now. So you either you go with the established things or you have to invent a whole bunch of different creatures and then you have to come up with some, you know, weird and wondrous sounding names. And then it's confusing for your audience because they don't know what these things are and you've got to then spend the time describing them, which slows the story down, all those sort of problems. So I didn't want to be derivative. I wanted to do something very, very different. Um, and that was one of the, the first objectives. Uh, and then so with Shadewood, I, I, I worked out exactly what was going to go on. You know, who lives, who dies, what happens. The, the entire story was worked out in advance. And then I just had to write the books. And um, I think the first one came out in 2015. Then the second one was 2016. Then some other stuff happened, <laughs> which delayed the third book quite a long time. Uh, then I put the third book out. And the third book really annoyed people, actually. I was quite proud of the third book. The third book annoyed people because it had a really, really bad cliffhanger. Well, good, but bad, if you know what I mean. Um, cliffhanger ending, which meant that um, um, everyone was on you know, tenterhooks for the, for the final book. <laughs> Which is a cunning ploy, um, not very, not very transparent, but a cunning ploy. Um, and um, so the third book ends on a kind of, oh my god, what's going to happen now? Um, damn, that's the end of the book, Drew. How could you be so, you know, so cruel? Um, and then the next book was, <laughs> was another year, um, which which is a bit cruel, but that's the way to it. So if you're coming to the Shadewood Saga now, you haven't got any of the angst to worry about. You can read one, two, three, four, and you know, you're okay. Um, and it it will probably flow better, you know, if you can go from one book to the other. Because um, it was designed to do that, uh, but I, I'm particularly proud of this latest one, Shadewood, Shadewood, Shadewood Expiation, which is the final book, book four, where everything is finished and wrapped up. Um, because everybody so far who's reviewed it, uh, and everybody I've spoken to who's read it, has been moved to tears by the way the story concludes. <laughs> and 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 part of me is like, oh, I'm sorry, and the other part of me is yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Because um, that's that's to me that's me me getting across the point I wanted to make. It, it's 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 not a tragic story, but it's a um, it's it's a poignant story. Okay, it's a poignant story, and um, making sure that people were so attached to the characters that I'd created. Um, there's three primary characters basically, um, and then the sort of supporting cast of maybe six to eight um, supplementary characters. And the three primary characters are, f are how you see the world, um, basically, in, in, in the story. And, um, you know, those all get wrapped up. And those three characters are pivotal. And people have sent me many emails and, and many reviews saying, you know, these, these, uh, yeah, I love these characters. They're just, they're just great fun. 
Um, and you know, I, sometimes I love them, and sometimes I'm like, what are you doing? Um, and then I hate them, and then they go through character changes, and I'm like, oh, yeah, but why are you, why are you, you were such a nice person, why are you turning into this horrible person, and vice versa, and all these sort of things that are going on. Um, and the reviews are very much about that, and that, that was a very specific aim for me in Shadewood, was to ensure that the characters were very, very relatable, because you've got this fantastic planet, which is very, very different to the Earth, and you need something to ground you, which is the characters, okay? So the characters are very human, they're very kind of normal in, in, in a sense. You know, they're people who are, you know, love, hate, get angry, get frustrated, get annoyed, get irritable, you know, <laughs> all these sort of things. Um, and But you follow them through all the stories, and of course the stories ultimately conclude in the fourth book. And every review I've had so far has been a, is a variation on um, absolutely love this book, but... <laughs> It sort of packs a punch. Oh, I was in tears at the end, um, and um, you know this this book has absolutely wrecked me emotionally. I'm <laughs> taking a couple of days off to recover, and and things like this. So um, yeah, so, so, so it's a slight warning if you if you get involved in Shadewood that um, you know you're, you're going to go for an emotionally wrenching experience, um, and I'm pleased actually that as a as as a writer I can engender that sort of emotional response in people, um, and you know. I, I, I go to various conventions, not obviously this year because of this wretched virus, but um, I go to conventions and people come up to me and, <laughs> and say, you gave me a sleepless night. I couldn't stop reading your book. Um, and I was in tears and my wife was wondering what was going on. And then my husband was like, you, you must stop reading this book. It's, it's not doing any good. Um, and so, um, yeah, so it, it's, got, it's quite good fun. Um, all those sort of things. So it, it is... Um, um, you know, I've, I've been very pleased. It, it feels like a big epic that I've completed. Um, you know, each Shadewood book is about 120,000 words, so it's nearly half a million words that's been typed into a keyboard and then edited and so forth. Um, but it, it's um, it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff. So um, yeah, <laughs> I'm pleased to have got to the end of it. Uh, but it's a bit bittersweet because, of course, I'm not going to be writing these characters again. Um, but I have got yeah, I've got other stuff that I'm kind of working on that, that will hopefully continue the universe of, of Shadewood a little bit as well. So it's it's fantastic. Um, people have been really, really positive uh, about about the story. Um, I think it's my best work to date. Um, and um, you yeah, know, it's, it's, it's been great fun. So uh, I <laughs> have enjoyed the process. And for those of you who have read the last book and have been kind of been in tears, I, I, I'm afraid I can give you no apologies. That was my intention from the outset is to make it an emotional, heart-wrenching, heart, you know, that kind of story, but mixed in with adventure and technology and all those sort of things. So you should feel that you've had your your worldview expanded and your your emotions have been have been tweaked a little bit. That was definitely what I was setting out to do. So no apologies, but I'm hoping that you once you've recovered, <laughs> you'll look back on it with some fondness and go, actually yes, it was a great book and I really enjoyed it, but <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just I'll brace myself now that I know what's going on in the final story. So, uh, fantastic fun. But yeah, um, so yeah, so um, and and obviously huge thanks to the fantastic books team for um, you know, promoting things and uh, getting getting it done. Um, they, they do all the hard work of actually turning it into a book, um, which is which is a you know it's a big piece of work actually to go from a word document to an actual book. And then prepare it for ebooks as well, and we're, we're doing audio as well, which is a, which is a new thing, which is all quite good fun. So, um, fantastic, yeah. So um, anyway, so if you like uh, science fiction with a fantasy feel, um, in a in a completely novel environment with emotional, uh, relatable characters that are uh, fun to, to fun to get around with, um, lots of lots of adventure, lots of daring do, and you don't mind a little bit of emotional kind of um, <laughs> impact along the way, then. Shadewood. There you go. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you very much.